meteorologist Chris Kozart. Welcome into the Storm Team 10 Weather Center. We are once again dealing with some hot and humid weather on this Sunday, but as we head into the afternoon, there will be a round of scattered storms. Expect this again on your Monday. Over the next couple days, a low threat for severe weather. We'll watch very closely. A couple of these storms today and tomorrow could produce damaging winds and even the threat for large hail, but it's a low threat. We are looking and tracking some drier weather coming in for the next work week, starting as early as your Tuesday chance of rain going into that scattered category for the afternoon, then settling back down for your Sunday evening. Notice how things will be ramping back up as you go into your Monday afternoon with another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms on this Sunday morning. Temperature is pretty warm here. Lower 80s going into the uh, low to mid 90s. We may get into the mid 90s depending on how quickly the scattered storms really develop here. Future track showing some rain cooled air right around that 3 to 5 p.m. hour. Temperatures tonight will cool off in the mid 70s and then right back to about 90 tomorrow. Future track again a little bit hotter for Monday afternoon only because of some scattered rain that it holds off until later in the day tomorrow. Still looking at feels like temperatures as hot as 105. Some backyards could go a little bit hotter than that. Again, it all depends on the timing of these scattered showers and thunderstorms that will come in for the afternoon and develop and really fire up with that daytime heating. So that will cool us down late in the afternoon and for those evening hours. Future track showing a good amount of scattered showers and thunderstorms between let's say 1 p.m. to about 6 to 7 o'clock this evening and then shows and tries to show another round coming in around 10 o'clock. We'll see if that actually verifies going through tonight. Fairly quiet could see a coastal shower storm Monday morning and then heading into your Monday afternoon. Some even more widespread heavier showers and thunderstorms showing up on future track over the next couple days. There will be a low threat for severe weather. Storm Prediction Center has us in that marginal risk for severe weather. That's the bottom of the scale. It's a level one out of five for the likelihood to see severe weather. We'll have to watch for a couple storms that could produce damaging winds and the threat for large hail. The tornado threat is rather slim given the setup within the atmosphere. So typical summer heat on this Sunday. We are in July 93 for a high. Some scattered storms for the afternoon with that low threat for severe weather. More of this on Monday. In fact, rain chance is even a little bit higher tomorrow. Then they start to come down on Tuesday. Some scattered rain still there, 94 for a high. Rain chances down even further for the latter half of the upcoming work week, and that's going to bring those temperatures up to about 95 to 96. So starting to turn even hotter during the day and warmer at night with overnight lows down to about 80 degrees. For more information on these stories and more, remember to log on to our website. That's califlying.com. Once again, good morning to you at Katiana. The owner of Landry's Feed Store in Rain says you haven't seen the last of him or his family's feed store business. That's up next. Looking at another hot and humid day across Acadiana this Sunday. Temperatures going into lower 90s and plan on scattered storms later on. There is a low threat for severe weather. We'll talk about that in just a bit.